right everybody Tacoma Comics here and <clears throat> I got this big mixture of relief excitement sadness kind of trepidation take out sadness I don't know why I threw that in there definitely relief definitely excitement and definitely trepidation dealing with this comic company for the first time heard from a few people after I started asking questions they ain't that great um, ordered this comic November 30th credit card got charged December 2nd this comic, this is a variant, came out, oh, late December, I believe, was the release date. It said on the website, shipping date was weeks ago, if not a more than a month ago. I left them a tweet. I left them a Facebook message on their page. I went to the website. I made myself an account, referenced my order number, went two emails to, uh, to the company. And not one peep from them. Comic Exposure. C-O-M-I-C-X, capital X, P-O-S-U-R-E. Beautiful comics. Beautiful, beautiful comics. Uh, but their customer service and just their shipping and stuff. Man, it, it took over, what is it, December 2nd I paid, order November 30th. So December 30th, I mean a month and a half to get this really ticked me off and you know what if they were having problems no problem say hey tacoma comics man they'll probably use my real name <laughs> we're having problems shipping this out on time you're going to get it though don't worry about it so finally 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 got an email saying hey it's being shipped uh this weekend and uh got it today at school so i hope you can see this it's just a paper bag inside there it's open at the edge here and just some uh, tape. Taped up along the back and then the same thing at that end. Open as well. <laughs> so we're gonna do this carefully. And this comic I've been wanting for a while. And I just, when I saw it on the, the web, I was like, I gotta get that. So found out how to order it. Uh, you know what? I apologize to them. That's cardboard inside cardboard. So I'm feeling a little bit better now. A little bit better. Yeah. They're a company, man. You feel like Midtown has their own uh, kind of like custom design cardboard for this. This is just like some pieces taped on. I'm hoping this is good. I'm hoping out hope. Keep hope alive. There it is. All right. I'm not even on, in camera, right? I'm talking to myself, and you guys are like, this guy's crazy. Yeah, maybe. All right, so. I like these bags that are self-sealing, man. I like that a lot, so. Give me props to that. Cardboard, you know, it wasn't too bad. It's two pieces of cardboard. Opened at the end, scares me a little bit, but I'll say, it, it looks good so far, you know. What I paid for this, I'm hoping that it's in perfect condition. This is a variant to Star Wars 40. It's actually, sorry, it's a virgin variant to Star Wars 40. And it is my first, if, no, it's not my first. I got a few others, but it's an Adi Granov. He's going to be at Emerald City Comic Con in about a month and a half. I'm excited to see him. Yes, I love that cover. Man, that is that is Princess Leia. You know, that is probably between Star Wars and Empire time. That is fighter pilot, warrior princess. This is, I'm not going to follow my brother into the force. I'm going to become a fighter. I'm going to become a general. Um, check out my X-Wing. Check out the windshield over here, right? I don't know if they're called windshield in space. Check out the space shield crinkling up here. I mean, just... Uh, I saw that cover, I wanted it, and it's every bit as good as I thought it would be. Let's take a look here. I'm seeing no spine ticks. I'm seeing the corners. Really good. Nothing along that edge. Corner looks perfect. Yeah, that corner looks perfect. Right, I'm afraid to take it out of the bag. I can't see any like 
dings or dents in it or anything. All right, so this was uh, only 600 produced. Just incredible detail, beautiful. I don't know if those are pencil colors or watercolors, but uh, I'm so psyched to have that, man. Really psyched. Uh, looks like it was shipped well. Looks like it's in perfect near mint condition. I'm not a grader, 9698. I don't know. I mean, I can't see any flaws, but I'm not a grader. I'll say it again. Uh, but uh, just the customer service sucked, man. It's not cool when you spend like $45 in one new comic. It's not like an old comic. It's a brand new comic. And you, ex you expect it and expect it and expect it. And you're hoping maybe before Christmas, maybe, you know, right after the holidays. And it just goes on. And then they don't respond to any sort of communication. That's just, that's really crappy. I'm not, not uh, happy with them. Um, in uh, comparison, <clears throat> let me show you something over here. I ordered some stuff from Spartan Comics the other day. <clears throat> Spartan Comics is a great site for getting recent back issues. You know, I'm going back a few years and some older stuff. Uh, they shipped it in the regular priority mailer, which is okay. And, you know, they had uh, two pieces of cardboard on either side and every book is bagged and boarded. I ordered this stuff like three, four days ago. I got the email saying it was on its way. Right before I ordered it, I went online and I was like, hey, uh, you know, I thought there was, if you ordered over $40, I thought you got like a discount. If you mentioned the 9-2 crew, uh, I heard Doom say that in one of his videos and the guy like, no, that was just for the month of December. But, you know, thanks for asking. We're going to give that to you anyway. So I was like, dude, that's really cool. <laughs> I'm glad you did it because I ordered the one book I wanted and I got some extra books um, just to get it over $40. So it's nothing big here. Just, uh, you know, there's Miss Marvel. That is the second printing of book four. If you've been following my videos, you know I'm going for every single Miss Marvel printed in the volume three run by uh, G. Willow Wilson. So I think number four only went up to two printings. I'll have to double check. This was the one I wanted. Don't look at the six ninety nine. This <laughs> ran me a bit more than that. I had a copy of this recently, but it wasn't that that great of a copy. Um, this one is looking much sweeter. You can see a, well, you know, not even a little indentation, not even a tick. Um, looks really nice and flat and beautiful and smooth. So I'm happy for that. Check out this saga. Eisner Award winning. This is a second printing. I, I, you know, I have every Saga issue so far, um, so I didn't need this one, but I just loved that cover a lot and liked it. You know, second printing. It was only a few bucks. All these comics, you know, the, not the, not that one, but the rest of them were only like three or four dollars each. So it was really good. And then last one was. This is not a big reveal. It's just backwards. And that is the third printing of number three. Um, that one went up to three printings, I'm pretty sure, and I already have the first and second, so. Gotta say, man, I'm in love with that cover. I'm so excited about that. It's just gorgeous. I'm going to take that to Comic-Con, get Adi Granov to sign it. I might get one of those guys to follow me around and, and CGC signature um, certify. I don't know yet. I don't know if this is going to look better in Mylar or behind a plastic case. I'm going to have to think about it, but yeah. Like I said, it's a beautiful comic, but I don't think I'm going to deal with that company anymore. All right. If you've got any stories about shipping and stuff, put them down in the comments. You know, good or bad. Hey, maybe it's just me and a couple other people and everybody else likes this company. If you've got other companies that you think are great, let me know. I'll, I'll certainly broadcast that in some videos. Uh, anything else you want to comment about on the, the Miss Marvels or the Star Wars variant here, let me know. Um, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Take care.